and I retire at 60 with $500,000 saved for retirement. So we're looking right here. We're going to retire at 60 with $512,000 saved for retirement. Now remember, her expenses are $3,500 per month. Now these are going to get a 3% inflation rate. So every month, we're going to look at inflation on this $3,500 in expenses. Okay. Now she does have uh, social security. Now it's going to start at 67, but from age 60 to 67, all of her income is going to come from her $512,000 that she saved for retirement. Now, from an, from an assumption standpoint, we're going to assume a 6% rate of return on her money. So the $500,000 that is in her 401k is going to get a 6% rate of return. Now, the reason I'm using 6% is because the market over the last 50 years has averaged about 10%. If you factor in inflation, it's averaged about 8%. We're going to manage these assets more conservatively than what the market has returned. So we're going to assume 2% behind the 8% average for a 6% rate of return. Now, keep in mind, don't look at this on a year by year basis because there are some years like 2022 where the market is negative. And then there's years like 2021 where the market is positive. We're looking at it over a long time frame, the averages over that time frame. So that 6% rate of return is an average we're looking at for the next 30, 35, 40 years of her retirement. The same with inflation. We're looking at it not on a year by year basis. There might be higher years inside of this inflation, but we're looking at it over the long term. Now, we've got $512,000 saved for retirement. We're going to take out $3,500 a month with inflation. So at 67, our 512 actually falls to $240,000. $319. So we're less about $250,000 from where we started, which is not good over a seven year period. Now, 240, 319 is what we've got at 67. Our expenses because of inflation have gone to 4,399. So that's our new expenses. Our social security is going to start kicking in now. So we've got $4,399 in expenses. Our social security is $3,000. So there's our social security, which means we need what? $1,399 coming out of this $240. So we need $1,400 a month out of this $240,000 in order to live. That's going to get a 3% inflation rate. So we're going to have a 3% inflation rate on this money, and we're still gonna have a 6% rate of return. So now we look at this and say, okay, how long is this gonna last? And unfortunately, we are out of money, we're at zero at 77 years old. So we look at this and say, can I retire at 60 with $500,000 saved for retirement with $3,500 in expenses waiting to 67 to collect Social Security? And the answer is, unfortunately, no, you can't. So there's a few factors that we have to look at. The first factor is we need to increase this $512,000. How do we do that? we might have to work longer. We're definitely going to have to work longer. Or we lower our expenses. She's lowered her, her expenses as much as she can. So we can't lower expenses. So the only other thing that we can do, the only other thing that we can control, because we can't control what the market does, we can't control inflation, we've tried to control our expenses as much as possible, right? But taxes go up, property insurance goes up, food costs go up, healthcare costs go up. So we can control that as much as we possibly can. The only thing we can do is work longer and increase the amount of money that we have saved for retirement.